go. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's John from Promo Weapon. Um, sorry, I've ghosted you for like a year. Thanks for hanging with me. Um, had a lot going on. In any case, I had a lot of people ask me uh, after my last video, like, yo, John, I don't have a rip. How do I do half tones and add registration marks and stuff in Photoshop? So, without further ado, let's rock and roll, and I'll show you how to do that. Over here, you can see that I've already separated this dragon. Um, so let's assume that you watched my other video. Uh, I think it's called Easy Simulated Process in Photoshop or something like that. If you don't know how to do this yet, go check that out. And so this video will kind of pick up where the other one left off. So we've got our spot uh, spot channels over here. And what we need to do is to get these prepped for registration and stuff, let's delete the channels we don't need. So like, let's delete the shirt channel. And we'll get rid of these RGB channels. N not, the, not those. Don't want to delete my spot channels. OK. Delete those. And apparently, it's got to think about that. All right, so we've got our four spot colors that we separated here. Now, what we're going to do in order to get those to half tones, we're going to click this little hamburger button icon and go split channels. And what that's going to do is line up each of those channels up here boom, 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 boom. And you can see white, red, yellow, and black. And what we're going to do with these is convert them over to bitmaps. So let's start over here to the, to the left with the white base. We're going to go to image mode, bitmap. Now you can see down here under method, we're going to use halftone screen. Keep the output at 600 pixels. OK that. And over here, the next box that pops up is going to allow you to uh, select your screen frequency and your, uh, and your angle. And you can choose your, your dot shape, whether you use round dots or elliptical dots. It's, you know, it's up to you. So keep your frequency. I like to keep mine at 45 and the angle at 22 and a half. They've already got this nailed down pretty much. Um, 22 and a half is going to keep, is going to keep most images from getting more A. So let's, rot in the, in 45 frequency, you know, that's kind of a, it's a good in-between dot, you know, you don't want to get too small. You can go up to like 50 or 60 or something, you know, depending on your mesh, but that's going to get pretty tough. So 45 is good. So okay that. And you can see that, boom, that turns into half tones. Let's zoom in on a piece of that for you here. Check it out. Awesome, right? Okay, so we're going to go and do that to the other ones as well. Image, mode, bitmap. And it'll keep your settings. You just OK through it. Next, image, mode, bitmap. OK. OK. And next is black, image, mode, bitmap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. OK, so there you've got your four channels bitmap and halftone. So really, all you need to do now you can do this next step or not. I like to convert them back to grayscale images. So I'll go image, uh, mode, grayscale. I do this prior to doing, prior to adding my, uh, registration. Uh, keep the size ratio at one when you go, if you go back to grayscale. Image, mode, grayscale. Okay. Next, image, mode, grayscale. Yeah. Image mode, grayscale, yeah. Okay, so, um, sorry, I'm silly as hell. Can't help it. Um, all right, cool. Too cool for school. Now check this out. This is kind of a pain to do this step, but it's worth it because you can have all your, I'm going to show you how to load your files into like one file and have each one of these steps be a different layer. So I'm going to go to Save as. Yeah. Save as a copy. And I'm going to output the, I'm going to name this base white. My microphone's in my way, I can't see. 
All right, so I'm going to make that. I'm going to save it as a PNG. Or you could do a TIFF as well. I mean, both of them are pretty lossless as far as uh, keeping your quality. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Keep that the way it is. OK that. Now remember, we converted these to grayscales, and now we're saving them out as individual PNG files, or whatever format you choose. This one's going to be, what step is this? Spot red. Okay, PNG. Okay. Saving, 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 saving. My computer's pretty slow. All right, yellow file, save as copy. Desktop, and this is yellow. Spot. Yellow. PNG. Sorry if it seems like I'm rushing through this. I'm trying not to kill a bunch of your time while still getting the point um, driven home here. All right, black file, save as copy. Desktop, drag and steps. Um, spot black. PNG. Boom. Save, 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 save. All right. And I again, I want to say thank you guys for just hanging out. Like, I've been gone for a year. That's amazing. And I still get new subscribers and, like, feedback, comments, and that's awesome. So you guys are awesome. All right, I'm going to close these out. Um, no. I'm not going to save because I already have my separation file saved. But if you didn't, um, before you even went to convert these to halftones or anything, save your separation file, like, before you delete any channels and all that. That way you'll have that backup file to go to. I know, smart, right? All right, close that. Now check it out. Uh, file, scripts, load files into stack. Browse. I'm just going to pick those files that I just saved on my desktop. And OK. And that's going to load them all. That's going to load those files that you just saved into one file in layers. Which will be handy when we go to add the registration marks. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. I know. Calm down, John. Takes a minute here. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> so you can see over here we have our uh, spot black, spot yellow, spot red, and the base white. Doesn't matter what order they're in at this point. Now, I am going to provide you with the registration mark that I use. Um, I'll put that download in a link in the description. So go grab that if you want. Um, I'm gonna, so what we're going to do here, I got my SEPS uh, spot black channel or layer selected. I'm going to go to open my register, import, I'm going to go to place embedded to import my registration mark. And I have that somewhere over here in clients or something, registration, where is it, printer's marks. Registration, PS registration, this is the file that I'm going to let you download in the link. I'm going to place it. And you see it dropped it right in the middle of the page there. Now I'm just going to pull it up. I like to have my registration marks centered. If I got room for it, I like to have one uh, above and below, right in the center of the page. Also helps with alignment, like when you take it to, to screen. All right. And then uh, <clears throat> what you can do is just duplicate that layer and drag it down and boom there's your registration marks simple 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 because when you place embedded 
it brought them in as new layers. It brought that registration mark in as a new layer. I just duplicated the layer, and boom, we got registration. Now you want a color name, right? So let's just grab our text tool and name it. What is this, black? Yeah. Yeah, it is black. I'm not going to change the font because I don't care. But I am going to move it over. There. Boom. And now, here's what we do. Because now those registration marks are on every layer because they're above all the layers, right? And uh, basically we need to duplicate this black three more times and get our other color names. One. I'm going to move myself out of the way here. We're going to need, sorry, I didn't mean to double click that. That's going to bring me into my, maybe it's not. All right. We need a red. Caps lock. We need a yellow. And we need a white base. Now when I go to print this, <coughs> excuse me, I had to clear my throat. When I go to print this, I'm gonna just turn off the color names that I don't that I don't want to print at that moment. Okay? So I'm going to print the black. I can just uncheck these. I mean obviously we're gonna to want to actually type those. Getting ahead of myself, guys. Sorry. We actually need to make this red. Yeah, it's kind of garbled because it's there with the black. Doesn't matter. Because uh, we're going to turn those off again. Okay, so yellow. And I know that I kind of go back and forth here, and I'm crazy as hell. So if you if I if you get confused, shoot me a text, an email, um, hit me up on the Facebook on the YouTube comments, something. My website is garbage right now because I'm working on it, but I'm adding things to that as well, like a blog, and I'm going to have some downloads there, maybe some free, maybe some paid. You know, who knows? So we've got our yellow, red, we need our white base. No, there we go. White base. Now, if I want to print my white base, I'm turning off all other uh, layers besides my white and all other color names besides my white base. And let's move that over. Because it's kind of hiding behind my registration mark there. Let's see if the other ones are. Yep, yellow, red. Fine. Right, so I'm on my white base layer and my white base text, and boom, that's your white base positive. Film it, dude. No rip necessary. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, I think that pretty much covers it, unless I was like crazy and missed some stuff. But you'll let me know that in the comments because you're awesome. Um. I am going to start working on some things like putting together uh, like some mock-up files. I got a guy that wants me to look into that. Um, what's up, Shane? And um, you know things of that nature. Then hopefully I'll have those available for download for you. And they may be paid because it takes a lot of time. Uh, but you know the things I'm going to have for sale aren't. I'm not going to you know bust your head with it. It might be like um, 
five or ten bucks or something. You know what I mean? Not enough to ruin your day or your wallet. All right, that's it, man. Um, thank you so much for watching. I apologize for this video being insane, as well as me. And, uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. All right, I'll talk to you next time. Peace out.